in New Zealand. This is a day two of the three WPA World Championships being held this week. This is the first day, though, of this Massey Women's World Nine Ball Championship. 48 players, $175,000 prize fund, $50,000 to the champion. Stage one is double elimination. Two of three races to four playing nine ball. If the deciding set is tied at three, well, then we'll have a shootout. Uh, stage two is the final 16 will be single eliminations. It'll be three of five sets with a deciding shootout if it's tied at three in the deciding set. The nine ball will be on the spot and there's a three foul rule. We have quite the match for you as the lady you're looking at is Simi Chen versus Ces Chen Wei or Wei Wei. And this is George Teicha bringing the live action with Tim DeRuder. Hey Tim, what's up? Hey, what's up? Glad to be back again. So what do you here think we're... here, George, in this match? Uh, we got quite the match here, as I just mentioned. Uh, you've got a 792 Fargo-rated player, Simin Chan, with the highest rating um, on the planet. Um, and then 748 for Weiwei. Uh, Weiwei is ranked number nine by the WPA, and Simin is ranked 24. That's because she's only played two or three tournaments as opposed to quite a few for, for Weiwei. So uh, it's not apples to oranges. But um, their style of play, similar. Um, I would give a little bit of an edge uh, to the more experienced uh, Seeming Chen. But in this format, anything can happen. Yeah, I think it's interesting for you to say that because I think I would give Weiwei the better odds because she's been out competing more often. Mm -hmm. So, well, I'm going by numbers, but yeah, yeah, it, yeah it, it's a uh, good point. So yeah. that's why it's where I think it could be very close sure. either way. So, and you know, competing all the time uh, gives someone more fluidity in their in their game. They play better, yeah, more also, confident. Also, sometimes it's easier to close out a match while they actually had a bunch of matches and tournaments in a row. Now, Simi broke the balls there. Yeah, okay, yeah, she so made one on the break, yeah. And I need to know those things because for in the second set, uh, Weiwei will break. It's winter yep. breaks. They alternate during sets, though. Now, you were saying? No, I was only saying that they, the odds could be closer to each other just because you're in shape. Like, you're playing many matches. You're used to the pressure. Like, playing top players, like... It's easier to close out matches than if you haven't been doing that. So, okay. but we'll see. Yeah, I totally agree, though. Uh, I totally agree that uh, momentum is on the player's side, and pool is a game that if you lay off for a little bit, uh, you'll play well the first 20 minutes, and then you start thinking, and things change. Yep. So actually, good try on the bank shots for for Chen actually because she was always guaranteed to have shape on the two. I thought she made it. It looked like it went in and out of the pocket. Just rounded it kind of. Yeah, and also a missed opportunity for Weiwei to get the cue ball behind the two ball. So is she going for distance or is she going to try another bank maybe? Yeah, she went she, for the bank, but... She I did play it two way. Yeah, this tournament's worth some money. As I said, 50000 to the winner, but uh, runner-up isn't too far off with thirty, And then uh, third and fourth is fifteen k. Fifth through eighth is $2 shy of 8000 And ninth through sixteenth at forty-one twenty-five. The money's pretty good here. And up against the ball. Oh. Or did he up against the ball? Yeah, beauty. Nice touch. One. Especially because I think she's she's taken away the, the kick over the long rail. Oh, she's taken away the jump yeah. and, and the kick over the long rail. Yeah, exactly. As you can see, like especially the, the right long rail. Like she can, might be able to go over the left one, but it takes more distance yeah. to get to the one ball. Can she spin this enough? Well, we'll find out. No, I didn't, it was it was tough to spin that ball that ball way out there without Mass saying it. Yeah, so first chance really goes to way way and 
Definitely earned that one, played a good cue ball on that safety. If you look at the layout as well, one through three is not gonna be that much of a challenge, probably to get from the four to the six. Kay. I would expect to see something special. Now, one thing here, though, that we, uh, they may be interested in is this is Weiwei's first match of this tournament. Uh, Seeming Chin has already played one and defeated Camilia Cook in straight sets. Uh, this is a seeded tournament, so Weiwei was waiting for the winner. Simi, of course, uh, is not. Well, she was in the top 16 to be seeded via WPA. Yeah, in the WPBA events, they do the same thing. And I know for a fact that most of the women that are playing here, they play most of the WPBA mm -hmm. events. So, yeah, I think they're kind of used to not having that first round match and someone else would have to play that first round match. Like, I, th I think it's a disadvantage sometimes. Like, I'd rather play an extra match to get in stroke, but... I mean, it's just whatever you feel like. Like, for Siming Chen, definitely she'll be in stroke. She didn't move that ball enough. She she has an edge. She can play safe. Yeah, she's just but okay yeah, to play that safety, yeah. She was trying to get to the rail to get straight in on that ball and then come back for the seven. Yeah, you see, only that four to six was key shot. If you look at where the seven, eight, nine is, it should be fine. So... In. I would just focus on trying to get the eight in between. Not do too much, not too firm, just soft and get the cover. Yeah, if she tries too much, that ball will leak out and it's leaked a little, but that, yeah. that side pocket has a lot to say on how she's going to shoot this. The only thing, though, is that I would have really liked to get the full cover and didn't care about the cue ball because she might play two rails safe behind the seven. The six goes out a bit. If you don't get it, you leave an awkward shot. If you do get behind the seven, big bonus. <coughs> Siming Chen, of course, is a 2017 WPBA World Nine Ball Champion. Arizona Player of the Year, AZ Billiard Player of the Year in 2019 and 2017, Billiard Digest Player of the Year in 2011. Yeah, she got very close to play that bank. I don't, I didn't think that bank shot was on, but she just missed it on the point. So, very good try. But in the end, another chance for Wei Tzu Chen. Yes, she can either cut it or bank it, which is most shots in pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of took everything. Yeah, that's there. right. Okay, <laughs> I covered every. I covered my bases, Tim. <laughs> I think she's cutting the ball. Yeah, she did, and she she just took her time and took dead aim. Wow, did she take that? I, that was you could just see her coming closer and closer. See, that was the, the bank, bank shot. that yeah. was really close. And now, the only thing I was wondering is yeah, the speed to make it comfortable was probably to have the cue ball like this. Like, it would have been more tricky if she actually was trying to hold the cue ball. I yeah. don't think she'll be going for this. Actually, she? Here comes another cut. Yeah, she cut the last one. She'll cut this one. Well, Not enough. She just hit a little, a little full, a little fat. Well... Nervy opening rack here between these two. And Simin with the first reel. Well, no. Way we had a good shot. She made one. Look at this. Nice cut. Yeah, played it with some left spin to make the angle even shorter. Two rails. And got great angle on the eight. Could probably play this low left. Soft draw. Pocket speed, make the pocket bigger. She hit that great. She has such good pace and such timing on her cue. Uh, watch how she comes through this. <laughs> yeah, but she plays a long stroke. 
That's and we saw that in our last true. match. Yeah. With um, uh, Lou Shashalu. Shashalu. Lou Shasha. I like saying that name. <laughs> so, opening track, we go to Siming Chen. A little bit of a back and forth. I'm not sure if I would have played that seven ball as a cut. Like, I just. Because the, the pace was already a little bit wrong on the six. So you're, you get yourself an awkward spot and you say, well, let's try the same shot and now get the pace right. Like, she did get nice on the eight, mm -hmm. but she did miss the seven. So, yeah, for me, maybe I would have backed out. Got still plenty of action to come, so she's missed one ball. Doesn't really say much. The seven, the six she cut well. That was a great shot. Uh, the seven that she shot, I, I might have looked the bank in it for two reasons. Number one, it was probably the easier shot, and you could control your cue ball better. Number two, you could come up and leave it in the middle of the bottom rail. If you yeah, the bank. that's what I'm saying. Like a little, sure, a little bit of a two-way. The eight, I think, yep. did go in the side. So, but then still, listen, they but are playing with the shot clock, 30 second shot clock, one extension per rack. Like they still need to hurry up. They gotta yeah. make quick decisions. It's not always easy. And actually that's a great point for uh, the viewers to remember is that they're on a shot clock. They have 30 seconds, of, they have 60 seconds after the break, uh, 30 seconds after that and one extension. Uh, that shot clock might make up your mind for you real quick or force you into a shot that maybe you really shouldn't take. But it, of course at this level you should know how to manage that shot clock. Yeah, and then still it sometimes creeps up for players. I've heard that many times. It, so. it, it always will. But the better you manage it, the, the the better you are at managing it, the less it creeps up on you. Yeah, of course, yeah. So, Siming made a ball on the break. Three ball and the four ball in the corner. Some traveling to do from the one to the two. Oh, I like that outside English you put on there. That was just perfect. Yeah, and then now she is wondering the same thing as I do. Does that five ball fit past the six? But if it does, then the run out is very clear. If it doesn't, she'll have to play the five six combination and still get shape on the five after. I think she's going to play it, Tim. The story. She's going to play it. She's going to run it right by this. She's going to slide it off the rail. Yeah, she does. It's doesn't. there. It's there. She must go for the five ball, I was going to say, because she doesn't have a great angle to play the combination. Like, she might get tied up with the five if she does. Although, from this angle, it looks pretty tight, go by that six. Yeah, this, I'm <laughs> <laughs> That it's, might scare me not into, into uh, the combo. Let me see this again. Uh, there's no, yeah. Well, she's going. I think she's going for the five. Yeah, she's missed it. She has missed the five ball. Yeah, I mean, I'm not was too sure if I was going to shoot that. It was, um, I think in our last match, I mentioned a couple times, I don't like sliding them off the rail because they don't always slide in. Yeah, but this one also had more, it, it uh, angle. more angle it on it too. So. Yeah, she had to hit higher up with, an, with an angle going in. And she, and she hit it a little fuller than she wanted to. Well, this is definitely good for us because we like a tight match and this is going to make sure everybody gets their, one one. their early nerves out and, and get in stroke. And it is a only a race to 4 per set. It's uh, two out of three races to four. With a shootout if they're uh, tied three apiece in the final set. Nine ball, nine ball on the spot. Three foul rule. All ball fouls. And way, way with this shot down the rail on this nine to tie it up at one. And tied it is. And as Tim said, Tim mentioned, uh, for viewer's sake, we don't want any runaways. No, I'd rather see something sure. exciting than someone to be run over. It can be spectacular too, of course, but for us, the best thing that can happen is to have an exciting match. Sure. And you know, one of the things I notice in a lot of, uh, oh, I guess, a lot of the chats that come along with uh, 
live streaming, a lot of people discussing winter break or alternate break. You know, they're against the winter break because, you know, it goes so fast and the other player doesn't get a chance to come out of their table. Being a race to four, oh, they can break and run out. How many times have we seen that playing 10 ball in, in this format? Have, we see, have you seen any matches that was full run out? Well, not many, let's say like yeah. that. I mean, most of it, if you look at it, most of the matches still have plenty of innings because the pressure is also different on the players. They know it's short and they have to take the opportunities. It's like when you go play a race to eight, the pressure is only at the ending. So they actually start missing, like most of the chances they get on hill hill or to get on the hill, like they will get, but there's a some that don't. It's a similar percentage, sure. I would say, sure. but then in a short race. so. Makes it more important. And and, and the, th the fact that for a run out, for any 50-50 shot, they might decide to play safe instead of go for the run out. Or in a long race, you won't. You'll go for the run out because you can always yeah. make it up. Well, as for this break, I believe it is dry. Yeah, I believe. Seeming to break. The to shoot here back at the table. Chen was breaking a little bit different and has been making a ball on the break a little bit different than Wei Wei did. Um, and she'll be definitely hooked because that one ball is going to go to the bottom short rail and the cue ball to the top short rail and get some cover. This ball banks. Is she going to go for another bank? No, or I, I play I safe behind the eight. Yeah, I like top left and bank the one ball down the table. She did go for the bank. I mean... <laughs> She hit a great, but still I would like to see this two ball first. She will get shape on the three, but if, when she, it's a good shot when she makes a two ball for me. Mm -hmm. Well, this is actually a, a bank that's going to send the cue ball around uh, two rails right into the nine. If she plays, if she's playing no, the bank, she's, she's playing safe. Is no. she cutting the ball? Yeah. Guaranteed to be on the three ball. It's only yeah. that... When you go for the bank, you have to cut the two. Like yes, you, you have to. It's a real thin cut. But it's it's missable. I'm not saying it's this is not a gimme at all. That's why I'm saying the bank is only a good shot if you make the two ball now. She played double pace too. Does she get on the three? Mm. Yeah, she made sure to make the two ball. Yep was wondering if she could baby the cue ball over, the but oh. the, the pot, no, the shot itself is trickier, but she had to, to get on the three. Now, do you find when you're cutting balls real thin like that and you kind of slow roll them, it's more susceptible to a, to a, to a spin off, what do you, uh, to a skid? Not, uh, not anymore. Nowadays with all the clean chalk and all the clean conditions, like I don't really expect Oh. Kids no more. Like I barely see them anymore. She caught a little roll there. Mm -hmm. A little roll. Well, if that three had dropped, that it would have been even jelly worse. Roll. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna <laughs> say. If that three went in, it would have been even worse. Yeah. Well, Weiwei wouldn't think so. She'd be kind of happy. Well, still, she's got a chance. She's got a kick shot. And the three does have a big ball, like. If you hit it yep. quite full or you go real first, like it might still go, so. And no, she just barely missed it. So ball in hand, Siming Chen. Let's see what she does on this four ball.
And then she still needs to get on the six ball as well, so. That four barely dropped. Does have angle on the five to drop in between the six and the seven, the green six, brown seven. She didn't get there. She's, I feel she's she's queuing pretty good. It's just that every time she gets to the key shot, or way, way ahead of the key shot in the first wreck she didn't get to, now this key shot she doesn't get on the six. Like, the most important shot in the wreck is not happening yet for both. I feel when they get that feeling, they start running out the whole bunch. She rolling up on top of the eight there? Yeah, I think so. It's pretty. Big safety. Would have liked to tie up the eight, like on the eight, because there's a one real kick on the six now. But still, I think this would be the best, best chance you have, especially with the shot clock too. You don't have too much time. This is a makeable shot. Well, I'm not kicking soft. I'm kicking with some pace. If I don't bit. make it, I'm gonna get distance. That's a good pace. Oh. That's a good Sweet. pace. Does she get on the seven? No, no she does not. A little bit too much pace. Well, the English actually uh, gave her enough speed. Well, for me, I probably would have hit it more firm. Oh, okay. Well, what about you just jump this in? close well that's not any bank shots not really a gimme so well I, I'm not even sure if it's a, it turned out to be a bank think it'll cut to the side well she's played a beauty of a shot on the six just didn't get on the seven if she had made that yeah. jump that would have been crazy she might shoot this to the side Shot it to the corner. Oh. And so the safety actually worked because she didn't give up a straightforward shot. Just that jump. You see, there was minimum air. She landed pretty good. It's just the aiming, I would say. Just a little bit off, but it's a very good try. So two rail center of the table. And that automatically gives a nice angle to go the same two rails towards the nine. Oh, nice the way it opened up off that last rail. Came in line for the shot. Yeah, Wait. from the beginning we thought Chen Siming could, or Siming Cheng could have actually took off, but it looks like it will be way away. Yeah, 2-1. Momentum has changed a bit. Well, no one's really got going so far. We have uh, three WPA World Championships on offer here in New Zealand this week. $425,000 a price fund. We also have the Men's World Eight Ball Championship with a $250,000 price fund. $75,000 for the winner. And of course, $50,000 here for the winner. So, and then we also have the World Juniors Championship, which, uh, as juniors from all over the world. We were talking to Payne McBride from the US just a little bit ago in the audience. Uh, I think he's left. We have some sitting here over to the left on the side that we'll probably take a look at later on. Well, let's see this break from Wei Tzu Chen. Big break from the side. 
No break box, folks. So they can break from anywhere they want. Oh, has made a ball on the break. And a nudge long combo. The, that nudge from the six on the one that spoiled the party. I think the one was kind of on to the side. How long is this going to spin? Oh, she earned more extra time on the shot clock. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. <laughs> I got to remember, maybe that's why these guys are spinning the ball on yeah, the brakes. Yeah, got, like, let me put my cues out and have 10 seconds extra. So if a ball spinning is considered rolling. Yeah, yeah the, I would think so. You, they yeah. start the shot clock when everything stopped right. moving, so spinning. So if you need extra time, you just full blast, full spin, play that one-stop shot, and you got plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I mean, it would be maybe opportunistic, but there is a 1-3 combination. Does kind of play big, just the shape on the one after is tricky. But I wouldn't know what else to do. I Yeah, I, I, I'd play the, the combo into the three. Just play like you're making, trying to make the one. It should should take care of it if you hit it good. She did go at it. And Made the she three. came out okay, but there's no shot. Yeah, this was actually, she did hold the one ball great. It's just that the cue ball went a little bit too far. Yeah. Uh, but she can play safe here or either kick two rails, but she got to go all around the table to get to the four if she does. It lays good for that, and that's what she's playing. Oh, close. Did she leave that one ball on? I think she did. Yeah. Oh. But then again, it's tough to get to the four, so a little bit of insurance. The referee you see standing next to Siming Chen is Hintaras Petrovas from Lithuania. Oh, there's going to be balls in the way. And it looks like um, the eight has got the four ball covered. Well, I guess she's going to have the jump cue out. Yep, the jump cue is out. A striped jump cue. She is sponsored by Q Lee's. And those are Q Lee's cues. Oh, wow. She hit that great. <laughs> I mean, wow. I mean, it was tough to get shape on the five ball anyways, but there was not too much air to fly the cube off the table. She hit that great. So now two rails to get to the six. This is the biggest shot for the wreck. Ooh. Oh, she's. I don't think she was. Do you think she was playing short rail shape? I think so with the speed I, she I hit mean, it at. She, she hit it. If she had played the other side, I think it would be way too firm. Right? Yeah. So yeah, she, she must have played yeah. the top. Which is, I mean, it's fine. She only needs one more good shot here. Yeah, she is just absolutely hammering those shots. Drilled it. Like, I know she's been playing a bunch of hay ball, but makes it look easy. Well, the pockets are twice the size as hay ball. <laughs> yeah. She makes she's, them look she's like She's shooting them. the buckets. <laughs> what a run out this was. And here to tie it up. Yeah, two each. Are the balls, I, I can't recall if the balls are smaller, or are they the same size as regular, regular same balls? Same size, okay. same size, yeah. Oh, what a shot that was right there. He taught us to rack the balls. Some of the other talent in this big tournament are ladies like Ellison Fisher, Han Yu, K. 
Kelly Fisher, Cho Che Yu, Amber Chen. We have some of the top players from all around the world here. Top women players, Christina Tekach, Christina Zalteva, Chesna, Jessica Centeno, Rubelin Amit. Folks, for those of you watching, just go to probilliardseries.com and all the information from this tournament is at uh, probilliardseries.com. The bracket, the players, uh, all of it at your fingertips for all three tournaments. And there's a good look at the break. The dry break with a cut on the one ball for offer for Weiwei. Two ball in the middle, so just if she cuts this, she'll come over for the two ball and play it probably in the same corner. Oh, she, yep. And she's there. From the way it laid, that was probably the best way to play it, and she did about the best she could do. The speed was great. She didn't hit the four, otherwise it could have been a little bit of trouble. And against the rail. Well, still a bunch to do. Sure. On this two ball. Now she's going to want to hit this with a little bit of inside. She's going to draw. I would follow the two rails up and come over to the middle, but this works also, and it's probably a better way of aiming. I think low left or low right. Yeah, I, I like the I, I like the actually right there. I like center left, but low left would be good too. Yeah, yeah. yeah I don't think going to the short rail would have no. given something on the three, but at least, yeah, something straight on the three seven. She well, got she a little fortune. She's got the hook behind the four. Uh, she, what? Is there? I think she can mess a around the four and kick one rail. Don't think there is a window between those balls on the left. I wouldn't say so, unless she goes curving in between the three and the eight with low right to make it short. Did I not? For a second, I thought I seen the eight move, but I, maybe I'm just seeing things. Oh uh, no, I think it was quite Every, away from the eight. Is, uh, Everybody's clapping, so <laughs> great shot there. Let's see. Just just wondering. Yeah, yes. it did. Yes. Yeah. I mean, crazy. Yeah, we don't call him. Did the referee call it? No, he didn't. No, they're still playing. And he was, I mean, we have a replay. They don't, so. Oh. Nice shot there. It was a nice two-way shot. I did like that. No way I'm shooting this two ball. It's just makes no sense. You will not get on the three ball unless you're gonna bank the three. But I am probably gonna bail out on this, play safe, bank the two ball up to the short rail. I mean, the only thing though as well is both players did not see it. Like they, they, they just kept playing, so. And I do like this. I do like the way she's played this. I believe she's got the cover behind the nine, or maybe just slightly not. No, 
uh, how much of that tubal can she see? Can she still cut it? I believe so. No. Oh, apparently not. So she just played safe. Well, didn't get the full cover there, so. Gonna try the same thing, thin the two ball and get cover behind the five. Would say so. And uh, uh, she did she get cover? No, no well, bit at least she has left something to work with. Maybe she can go three wheels behind the eight. Depending on where you can put the two as well, that's the tricky part. She chose distance and covered by the four. They have been getting the, this ball safe, but just every time they give just enough to be able to play a resafe, like right, just right. enough. Like now you can play the two ball thin, bank it towards the five and maybe to the short rail and get the cue ball one rail back down table. Like yeah. just every time it's just that small little bit. Gotta She's be careful though, not to run into the five. Right. She's gonna have to really thin this. Perfect. Yeah, She's gonna get behind the eight, maybe? No, it hit the. <laughs> but this is what I mean. Like, <laughs> if she gets behind the eight, it's a great shot. Yeah, now it it's just like it got safe. But let's try again. Like it just. Well, here's a thin cut up and down. She's gonna want to come back out for this three ball because he can't hold hold it for it. I like this shot. I can, I can see her going for this. Oh, overcut it. And how is the leave? Uh, yeah. Good for Wei Wei. The leave is amazing. Oh. She's going to real estate, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> sold the ranch there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, for a second, it could have been <laughs> wrong <laughs> behind the five, but... No, obviously this is wide open. Oh, uh, she's Ooh. got English on that ball, and English equals speed. Yeah, just okay. Now we'll have to draw back at least to the side pocket to get to the four. Then she could travel around the five to still get it. Or draw it up a little further, and she'll be okay. Just kind of either way. But that's what the shot yeah, is. Yeah, I, I would say depending on how you feel. Sometimes you feel the shot. You say, "Oh, I'll draw yeah. back easy," and otherwise you just take the damage. Ooh. No well, sneak. with the carbon fiber, there's no need to draw back easy. You got plenty of power. Yeah, I understand, but yeah. also she, she just went by the six. Is she straight in on this, or is she? Uh, She's gonna have got a hard enough time? to get off the rail. I would say oh, okay. center of the table is definitely possible. Couldn't see that little bit of angle that she had. You know, as we um, get close to the end of this rack, someone will be leading by a game. I think I'll read off some of the scores on some of the other matches that we have going at the same time here. This looks like a pretty standard three ball run. Stop shot and the nine on the side. And way away will be three games to two. Yeah, perfect. Definitely looks to be on the hill first. Okay, here comes some um, some matches for you. Hold on to your horses. Che Che Yu, Che Chow. Ch <laughs> if I can pronounce him, Cho Che Yu is one set and one game over Joel Jana Tom, Tome. Chichiro Chihiro Kawahara is two games to one over Silviana Lu. Boriana Sarach trails Pia Filler two to one. Cheska Centeno has just won the first set. I know they were tied three games apiece over Maite Ropero. 
and Yuki Hiraguchi trails Soledad Ayala two games to three. In the first set, Seo Seo is three games zero over Jessica Tan Uming. Emily Dud Duddy lost the first set and the first game to Tequina, Christina Tekach. Allison Fisher is one set over Han Yu or Yu Han. Rubulin Amit is one set but is down one game in the second set to Amber Chen. Bean Hung is one set over Yvonne Ullman Heibler. And Lu Sha Sha is trails two games to three against Jasmine Ocean. And we'll get back to this. The last two tables, four tables to go after this game. There goes the three. Well, and the one ball. And the one straight into the side. Now, uh, the worst thing that could happen is you break two balls, a good cue ball. You can see the two ball, but the two doesn't go past the seven. I don't think it does go. And Does she also has to draw the cue ball back, which if you could be, if you would be able to cheat the pocket, it would be okay. But now you're playing a firm shot. Mm -hmm. It's maybe a low percentage. There's a straight back and draw the cue ball back, but that's right. quite aggressive. She's aiming this like it goes. I and might go to the other corner if I would really want to shoot. And take the cue ball around three rails. Yeah, it's either play it's short side it's for a four nine, four nine combo. Yeah, it's yeah. either that or play the straight back on the two and draw the cue ball back. And if I don't make it, I leave distance. Yeah. But she's it's like... Well, it looks like she's lining up the combo. Wow. That's a big combo. If you don't make it, you're like... You I might be I would selling the farm. I would bank this two ball to where her hand was. In other words, to the lower right-hand corner pocket. Before I, before I tried to play this combo. Listen, you can also just... Overcut the two to the short rail and bring the cue ball two rails back up table. Possibly get it in between the short rail and the four. So you Good don't call. have to attack. Yeah. But she wants to attack. She wants that fourth game without letting uh, Simin come to the table. Oh. oh. Well, the trailer. <laughs> wow. Did you ever think of that? <laughs> she actually did get, she gets shape on the four. It's just, if she can cut the four and run into the eight, and she hits it full, she's out. That's how important that fluke was. Oh, nice bump. Wow. As uh, an old master of the game used to say, fortuitous. Do you know who that would be? You don't go back that far, but he was a one pocket player. Bald, big. Did he have a mustache? No, he didn't. He wore glasses. Did you ever hear Grady Matthews? Oh, okay, no, but <laughs> when you said, I was, going a different, I was going a different direction. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Wow. Now, can you imagine how important making that tuba was? Oh, yeah. Now she's like got it. She got it. She's going to get the... She's not going to allow Simi to come to the table to uh, get two racks that she needs to win. She's going to try to run this out. Oh. She's good. Well, I was... Ah, okay. Yeah, that seven did go because I was expecting oh, yeah. her to draw along the long rail and no. stay on the other side. Yeah, should be fine. Just got to make sure it, she doesn't get on the rail and she doesn't get straight on the 8. Those are the only things that could be annoying to get from the 8 to the 9. Everything else should be fine. Uh-oh. Oh, she, hold, she Hello. held the cue ball quite a bit there. Well, that fluke... Paid dividends, but not for long. The market crashed. Well, it looks like we're gonna go have a hill hill opening set. 
Oh, yeah. Um, well, now you play this in the corner and take the cue ball out. Oh, or does it go in the side and can she follow up? Yeah, I think she Does could she have the angle? She could do either Oh, yeah, she's got the angle to go straight up. Yeah, yep. but maybe she doesn't like the side pocket as much. Then she would shoot in the corner. I think it's his preference. This is going right in the side, and she's going to come right up for the nine. She was going to be dead straight in. Oh. Oh, that's a little bit. She was afraid of that corner. She didn't follow that ball quite enough. Yeah, also, I feel like there was not that much confidence in shooting it to the side, so I expected her to play to the corner. It didn't look like the ball rolled clean. The timing was off a little bit, like you just said. Oh, big cut to take this hill, hill set. And there it what is. So shot. we go three each. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hold on to your horses because we need one game to win the first set. <laughs> Tim didn't like that, people. <laughs> He's shaking his head. It's only day two, George. Come on. Oh, can you imagine <laughs> what day five is going to bring? Well, I'm excited. <laughs> One game to win the first set. This opening set, you know how important it is to win that opening set. Like it yep, usually frees sure up is. the player that wins it. So, well, back to the back to the games I was going to call out. Okay, Lu Shasha, three games apiece with Jasmine Ocean, Wang Ling Wang, tied with Hong Xin Yu, and Sakura Mats Muramatsu is three games to zero over Cristina Zalteva. Margarita Fefelova is three games to two over Jin Haiyu. Brittany Bryant has lost the first set to Kelly Fisher. And that brings us up to date as to what's going on on the other 15 tables. So most important break for this set. Siming Chen. Makes one to the one, the makes it three. And straight in on the two, but it's uh She might be just down the road. able to make it. Down the road. And where's the four balls next? Because there's no three. One in. Yeah. So it's just to make and she's gonna have decent shape on it. No, if she, if she has a shot on the two, she has to take it. Just because the pocket speed is going to make the pocket bigger. And if she makes it, she always will have a shot on the four to close it out. Oh, no, she's pushing out. So this must mean it doesn't go. This also shows how confident Siming feels with that jump cue. Like she made a great jump before. I'm, I'm sure that's why Weiwei is shooting herself because Siming made that jump earlier and ran out. That was a pretty cute little jump it. cue she had too. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like I would not give it back if I see my opponent make that earlier. I jump that with a full cue. Well, she wow, definitely she would. Wow, she definitely <laughs> made it with a little jump cue. What a shot. Didn't have much to jump, maybe a quarter ball, but still a great shot anytime you're uh, elevating like that. Well, she did follow that cue ball just a smidge, and it got on the rail. Look at this. Is your cueing straight or is your cueing straight? That's pretty straight because usually it you know veers off because you always punch it on one side or the other. <laughs> if I miss that one, I usually bank it in the corner, so it's like <laughs> you miss it by uh, that much. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, oh. she was on the rail and she knew she was gonna have to bump the five, but now here's a decision: you just bank this over by the six ball. Yeah. 
straight to the short yeah, rail. Straight to the short rail. Oh, ho well, hopefully, not really. Hopefully, <laughs> get that seven nine in between. There's no hopefully in that. Well, this is the second day here in New Zealand, folks, and uh, look to Facebook for the some uh, highlights. Oh, she's, she's left the window. Yeah. So we are far from being over in this set because we could have a tight safety battle now. Can she see? I think she can see the full ball. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I think the eight is just in the way. So I would say like three quarter on the right. She might be banked if I threw that window back out. What is she was trying to get the cue ball with the nine is and going, seven. Going? Did she get it or did she give it up? I would say she's left it on. Oh, oh. it's tight. <laughs> she got down to shoot and uh, said, oops, some of the eight balls in the way. And to the short stick. Well, this is a, a really tough uh, jump, though, because she got to land right after the eight. So she has to elevate a lot. See, that cue ball had so much jump. Still in the cue ball. Wow. Well, she, she jumped it great, but the cue ball was so close to fly off the table. Way Away is sponsored by Predator, Brunswick Billiards. Did I, s I made a made it might have made a mistake there. Yeah, that's those are predator. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. sponsored by predator. Yeah, I thought so. I saw it er early and I, I caught myself. So that was probably the air rush that she just uh, jumped that with. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. And then she's played this good safety. For a second I was thinking she could cut the 6 in and run into the 7-9, but she plays safe. Would you shoot this this way or go two rails behind it and maybe kick the 6 ball up? That's going to... Oh, well, I did like it <laughs> this way. Uh, well, she's got a shot. She can play safe or she can play the 6 in the corner. I think I'm playing a stop shot. Stick the cue ball right. On the 9? Lock it up with the 9, yeah. yeah. Especially with That's what she's wanting playing. to get over over the finish line, you would just want to. Yeah, when the safety is that, that easy, and can be that effective. That's the shot to go with. Well, she would have liked to not be able to let that go to the rail. chain get past the side yeah. on the rail. So let me see. Oh, it's it might be just OK, but she could maybe swerve at it. Or she's going two rails. She is going two rails. Oh, this is tough because I'm not kicking this soft. I'm trying to hammer this. If in case I hit it, I want to create some distance. She's hit it soft. Uh, she's hit it soft. All I can say is nice job cueing, not hitting that nine ball with the with the cue. But it's ball in hand. Hill, hill. Four balls to go. wondering I was thinking about going one rail just straight out she went two rails and got on the rail is she going to play jacked up and play the bump on the nine to get on the eight because if she goes forward she might not have a good shot on the eight she's playing the bump on the nine she might fluke the nine watch that nine ball Missed the seven, the nine didn't go in, and... At Hill Hill, she's given her opponent quite the opportunity. Yeah, 
I just think that the way she, how she's played the ball in hand, she's got, on, yeah, she started off the wrong foot. Um, she may, will definitely like it. Did she get angle? If she got straight, she might draw all the way back to shoot the nine in the corner instead of the side. Yeah, she might have to, or she goes forward two rails, top left. I bring this straight back, which is what she's done. Yeah, and this is to take the first set. Yes. What a chance for Wei Tzu Chen there. Well, for the, this nine ball to win the first set, seeming Chen. And when it she does, now, if, you folks, there's going to be a little intermission between the sets. If you want to go get something to drink, eat, whatever, I'm going to give you a little bit of rundown as to some of the prior uh, champions for this women's world nine ball championship. Allison Fisher has won it four times with three runner ups, but she has also been a semi finalist in three times. So she's had a lot to do with this with this tournament. Uh, winning it twice was Lu Sha Sha. Actually, she's uh, had three championships. Han Yu, who is playing Allison right now has had three championships. Lu Xin Mei has two championships and two runner-ups. Uh, Kim Ga Young, two championships, one runner-up. So we have quite a few champions here. Siming Chen has won this once. She's a prior champion uh, with two runner-ups. Uh, Francisca Stark, one championship and one runner-up. Lori John Brown, I think that would, would have been in back in the day was Laurie John Jones from the U.S. Uh, now I missed Robin Dotson, who's won it twice, and Kelly Fisher, who's won it twice. Uh, then, uh, so those are some of the uh, more notable number of times of champions that have won. Joe Che Yu won it last year, I, 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 if I remember correctly, in Atlantic City. Yes. Allison Fisher was runner-up. And we'll have some stats coming from this match. Set number one. Uh, we have four games to three. Table time, time at the table. Wei Wei spent more time at the table, but it apparently Simi was more efficient with her wins, but with a lower overall performance. Break success. We see Siming Chen having more success at the, t at the table than uh, Wei Wei did. Average balls pocketed 1.3 to 1 because of the break. First shot after the break, Siming was more um, successful. Balls pocketed. Siming pocketed less balls. And safety efficiency. Wei Wei did a better job. So um, those are some good stats for you. Yeah, last year it was Allison Fisher in second place. The year before in 2019, because there was no uh, nine ball championship held in 2020, 2021, or 2022. And of course, Predator revived it last year. And in fact, I remember that real well, because they asked me to go commentate that in Atlantic City. And something happened. I think I caught COVID or something. <laughs> forgot what it was I didn't make it I couldn't make the, oh. the trip I looked at the flights and I didn't make the trip So there's a little history about the WPA Women's World Nine Ball Championship. Siming is back at the table. She will not be breaking first. Way, way will. It, they alternate the set breaks. Otherwise, it's uh, winter breaks. Quintadas with a little discussion with uh, Wei Wei. Yeah, 
Yeah, not really sure what is going on at the moment. Because I would say both players are ready, the referee is ready, everybody's like chatting on the side and... Well, our referee is actually over talking to the head referee with whatever discussion he was having with Weiwei. And she is about to break in the second set. There must be some question. Meanwhile, a good look at the arena, the fans. Let's go back to a little bit more info. Can we get more info out of this, or was that about it? Wow, here's some info from 2009 to 2013. It was held in Shenyang. Taipei held it one year, two years, in 06 and 08. In 1998-1995, there's a name from the past, Gerda Hofstetter, Vivian Villarreal. I've heard that name before. Gerda is a, a yeah, Austrian. champion, yeah. Austrian. <laughs> She won it in 1995 at Iwa Lawrence. The Viking, the striking Viking, 1994. Laurie John Jones in 1993. Robin Bell won it twice, 1990 and 1991. It was held in uh, Berg Bergheim and in Las Vegas. It's funny, at the very beginning, a lot of the American women have some success but towards the middle and towards the end, hello Asia. Yeah, excuse me, I'm, I'm listening to your facts, but I'm also trying to figure out what's going on, what really is happening here. Well, the facts weren't for you. <laughs> they were for the oh, viewers. There is a yellow <laughs> card coming. And oh boy. I surely don't know why. And the yellow card means She's lost the break. Yeah, apparently she's lost the rack. I just really don't know why. Did she come back I, I don't too know. late after a timeout? I, I, I don't know what the, like what, the, what the issue is. Trying to find out what the yellow card signifies. We'll have some information shortly for you as to what's going on. They're still having a discussion, as you can see now, on your screen. Hold on a second, I'll get some info. So yes, yeah, she lost, She's the, lost break. the break. So it will be seeming breaking. She makes a ball and don't think she has a shot on the one. Might have to play a kick safety behind the seven. She's going to go with that kick safety. Would you even consider going rail first and trying to pocket the ball? I just don't see any value because I won't get on the two ball. It'll go around. 
Yeah, but With the seven is speed. still in the way. Oh, it might not go. It goes by the seven. But yeah, you're right. She'd have to have a combo. So this is like I better. like the kick behind the seven. She might. Oh. She better. Probably. It better travel, or she's gonna give up a nine ball. Oh, definitely. I like this nine ball. You cut that one ball thin on the right, on the top side. Go rail first into the nine and try to pocket the ball. It's a nice ticky shot. Oh, you want to play with the cue ball? Yes, with the cue ball. Oh, no, I'm playing. You're playing it with the one? Regular combo, yeah. Yeah. I'm just, play I'm just like playing enough speed to where if I don't make it, it doesn't stay, but I'm also not pounding the ball. Like, I'm trying to give it a positive stroke and bring the cue ball to the short rail in case I don't make it. I probably leave the one along the other long rail. Just. See if karma's involved here. Oh, I wouldn't say karma. <laughs> oh, she's upset about getting yeah, the yellow card, her, losing yeah, but the break. I was, but I was going to say it has nothing to do with Siming Chen. So right. karma, karma. <laughs> no, the karma would reward Wei Wei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean the positive side? The so. positive side, yeah. Well, she's definitely going to play a safety behind the three here. Or behind the six, even better. Try to line up another one nine. This time she's played a really good shot. Go real first, get the cover. Kick shot and try to hold the cue ball. Oh, she can she can see the side. Is the two ball going to come into play or is it going to leak? Well, that's tight. Nicely done, nicely done, that little kick and stick. Oh, I see a straight back coming here. Yeah, I think so. I think it's shot. a good bang shot, too. Good chance to get on the two, and if she doesn't make it, distance could leave a tough one. Ooh, well, she make it, it, she didn't. And she's going to give up, or is it going to get a roll? Got a roll. Yeah, she actually missed it by quite a bit, so a little bit fortunate not to yeah. leave much. So Simeon asked Wei Wei, says, do you uh, 
I'll take a roll with my coffee. <laughs> Don't say all that. I'm getting hungry. Are you? <laughs> Just had a great lunch. True. So, two rails here. Two rails. Push the one up table. And she hit it great. Look at this for a kick shot. S brilliant safety shot there. Nice safety battle here. This will be the I'd fourth I'd shot in it. I like how Weiwei is digging down still to like stay in this set even though after what happened. Like I like that. I have seen different in the past, let's say like that. So she's still playing good defense and like trying to play her way in this set still. What am I looking for here? Oh, here we go. Oh, and she definitely earned an opportunity. Great shot on the one. Chance to get on the two, three ball nearby. Definitely a decent run out. Definitely a good chance to tie the score at one for this set. Now, will you come all the way down and play the, the two ball to the side? I probably would. Yeah, she didn't. She got a little bit in between. Yeah. Is she going to go too far up, and will she get behind this? Well, she's not going to be behind it, but she made it a lot tougher on this three ball. It will be tough to get to the four. If she can get to the four, actually. Shooting at the other corner. No. Playing safe. Just trying to get two rails behind the six. Didn't get it. So the initiative is with Siming Chen to play a strong safety. Could get the cue ball two rails behind the four. Could also nudge the three and bring the cue ball behind the six. Or bank the three ball twice the long rail on top of the four. Bring the cue back to the short rail. If she gets in between the rail and the four, that would be, that would have been amazing. To go between those balls, huh? Yeah, well, she got a little bit short, but the line was good. She's got a shot on it. It looks like this three ball goes. So I guess. Well, we just got a update. On a couple of things here. There was a loss of game for the yellow card. And um, apparently it comes in the rules. It says no smoking or smoking equipment. And uh, Weiwei stepped out and uh, had a smoke during that break. She was penalized a game. And, oh. she, and she was told, she says, I wasn't aware of the rule. And, uh, of course, the rule is in the protocol that you can read online, actually, if you care to take a look at it. Well, in the end, for now, it's not going to matter that much. Nope. Like I said, I like it more that she's still trying to dig deep and play the right shot and play good safeties, even though she had that bad news.
Going for the bank or playing safe behind the four? Safe behind the four. We should call it thick. Too thick. She might have left it on. It's on. It's not easy, but it's on. It's natural shape, though. Pocket the ball, you're rewarded. Whoa, I'm not sure that it is on. She's not playing it. She's playing to say hefty. Yeah. And, well, she's played a good cue ball. Yeah, you try to freeze that on that head rail. Oh, this is a tough shot on this three over the six. Got a feeling she's going for it. The shape's natural, so just make the ball, which is a tall order. Is she going to get up behind the six now? Whoa, yes, she is. The way that I, the, I'm just, I'm, the looks, I lost my words. Did you? Well, the, the looks of that shot, it was a two-way shot. Everybody knows that one. Yeah, but you still got to get there. <laughs> and kicking high at the sixth ball. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> But yeah, she's I, still not gonna like this outcome no. with leaving the shot to the side. But, but it, this is better than leaving ball in hand. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Oh. Well, here we go. Way, way back to the table with a straight-in shot on the three. At a very opportune time to be able to tie things up. Well, she gets plenty of chances. I mean, it's not like Simi yeah. Chen is over, oh, yeah, overruling yeah. the whole bunch. Like it's, I like how she struck that four. She's prime shape now. Stop shot on the five. We'll give her a great angle on the six to get to the seven. So straight draw to get on the nine. We'll make things level in this set. Well, after this nine ball, we can just start this set over and call it a race to three. And yeah. a race to three it is.
Yeah, she started off really good in that first opening set. And then after a couple of games, she started to stutter, made a couple of mistakes, right away got back. And now I feel it could, go, it could be anyone's match still because they both are not looking too great. The one player that steps it up just a bit. I think maybe we're going to have to read some scores off, Tim. What do you think? Yeah, it's been a little while since you've done that. Yes, it yeah. has. Let's see what progression we've had. Well. Cho Che Yu has defeated Joel John at home. Two sets to zero. Chihiro Kawahara has won the first set and two games in the second over Silviana Lu. Uh, Sarach Bojana, Bojana Sarach versus Pia Filler. Pia has won the first set and three to one in the second set. Maite Ropero has lost the first set to Cheska Centeno and they are tied three games apiece in the second. And here is way, way to break. Game number three, second set. Tied at one. And she can see the two ball. She can see all of the two ball. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> She's yeah. She, up right against it. Yeah, She's welded to it. Okay, so now just to be ahead of everybody, if she's frozen on the two, she can play, she can push right through, she can jack up, she can do whatever she wants to. Great break, look at this. Plenty of balls going. You see, so she was froze, that's why she was able to push the cue ball through. So they consider it one contact. So I don't want to hear anybody say that was a foul. <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> it's enough now. <laughs> wow, she locked it up real good. You know, actually, when you start to do that in practice, you will find out how tough it actually is when they're froze yeah. to, to control it as well. Like she's played a shot you don't really get to play that often. She can't three rail this. What do you do here, Timmy? Yeah. I think this is a dead trap. I, I really don't think there's no, anything else there's you can there's do. There's, I don't or you try think to push the way. five and the eight together or something. But she's going to try to go three rails and hit well, it, but she can't hold it up. She's going to bend it real yeah. short. Yeah, that, that was, that's what was in the way. <laughs> you know... It's funny, I've seen uh, Weiwei kind of avoid the referee. <laughs> it seems to me that she's been avoiding the referee there. He's not, he's not her favorite person right now. Well. Uh, she's gonna go behind him. And put the two ball up against the four. Yeah, get the cue ball to the other side. Yeah. But still, there will always be a one rail kick, so. Could you maybe thin it and go two rails around the eight? Maybe three rails, just take the cue ball back where the five four is. I think that's what I would have tried. This is probably too easy to hit for uh, Simi Chan. Uh, I agree. It's just, it's just uh, hit the. Hit the rail and come right back at it. Let's see how she chooses to do it. Looks like she's going to use multiple rails instead of, oh, she's going to use a short rail. I'd use a long rail. This can scratch. She could not have played it any better. Nope. She hit it perfect. 
She also had the conservative save, so... I might just bring the cue to the bottom short rail, try to glue it up there and... Yeah, well, just leave your opponent awkward. Unless you go for the bank. She's only got five seconds left. She's got to do something. She's going to run up against... Oh, she she's it. sold out. Yeah, I think she's left the two in the side. And a small nudge on the four would definitely give a shot. Plays for the little left finger so that you open up the four and slide down to give yourself some room to shoot the five. Yeah, perfect. I was thinking it was a three, actually. And then now she can go off the rail and bump the five towards the side pocket, guaranteed to be on the five. Straight in, almost. Corner pocket. Oh, she came up pretty high. Oh, the six ball, I'm sorry. Eight balls next. Yeah, got nice on the eight. Two balls left. Oh, boy. <laughs> Low right. Two one. Game number three goes to Simi Chen. And she will be breaking in game number four with a two to one lead. Soledad Ayala trails Yuki Hiraguchi. One set. But she's ahead in the second set, 2-0. Jessica Tan Hui Ming is trailing Seo Seo, who won the first set and is leading in the second set, 2-1. Christina Tikach has defeated Emily Duddy in straight sets. And Allison Fisher and Yu Han are tied one set apiece. That's quite an important match there. Previous champions. Bean Hung is one set ahead, but they're tied in the second with Yvonne Heibler. And Lu Sha Sha has won the first set and tied three to three over Jasmine Ocean. Well, oh, look at how much spin she put on the kill ball and she made four balls. Now that's going to up her uh, balls per shot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the stats she made four and one. Just interesting. Usually, when you put that much spin, not much happens. Look at all the balls flying in. One, two, three. There goes three. Four. Yep. Oh, four total. And then you don't get a shot on the two. Can you imagine? And the six ball blocks your bank on the nine. Cue up behind the three. Nope. Just distance. Kelly Fisher has defeated Brittany Bryant two sets to zero.
Oh, she's not gonna like what's coming. Because I believe Siming has a stop shot. No, she does not have the stop shot behind the six. Still, she can play the two ball to the top short rail and possibly get the nine in between the cue ball and the two. So top left spin. Difficult though to have a perfect cue ball on this. No, she played. <laughs> Look at how bad she tied up way away. All her <laughs> extension there. I mean. <laughs> she made sure she heard, he heard her. Well, it's quite important. Yep. And this is a, such an important shot too. If she fouls here, it's like wide open. Yeah. She has to hit this and with enough speed to create distance. One tip of English there to get to uh, it. I think it's fine. Just send a ball. Just. I like the hit, I like the hit, but where is the two? Right in front of a pocket. No bueno. That's my saying. <laughs> Since when do you speak Spanish? I don't. I speak George. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, Tim. <laughs> wow, well, look at how the balls are spreading too. I mean, well, this, this one is right rail. open. If you go one rail to the six, you always will have angle to get from the six to the seven. Well, Weiwei is in trouble here. This will put it at three to one if she completes this run out. And she can't get the cue ball off the rail. So she's going to take the nine ball right from there. That's pretty nice. She's using the side pocket to get some room. Yep. So to get on the hill, double hill. Didn't we have this in our last match? Simming on the hill to win set number two and send way away to the one lost side? Or can she come out of that chair and put three games together in a row and force a shootout? Can you believe in the first rack of the se second set they had 17 safeties? That's a quite a lot, lot. yeah. That means there were seven, seven, so, the, so there was 18 innings. Yeah, but we also, we had with the combination and like a bunch, like everything, yeah. everything was starting to be safe there, here, like. That's what happens with hand rack. Okay, so wing ball goes in. That's quite the stat, thank oh. you, Michael. Just, she does have shape on the one, but like you can see, the five and the eight are tied up. And that's gonna be difficult to solve. Uh, you can get to it from the three. It's about the only way to come at it. And your plan, open up the five. Well, the only thing I can imagine is try to get on the two and then leave angle to the inside of the table and go right into the eight, but I mean. Yeah, that's what she's looking at, but 
It's so tough. Mm. She's straight in here. Where do you put the cue ball? You just fall forward a little bit and go to the head rail and down towards the five? Did she just see what? That's like she's got the angle to do it with. This it will be the shot if she gets this. Mm -hmm. We are done. Well, she doesn't have to come away with a shot though. Depending on the speed she uses. Oh, she drew into it. Yeah. I like to, I like falling into the headrail and coming down on it. Uh, I don't I think she had too much angle to do that. Okay. She actually hit this quite all right. If she catches a little bit more to the side, it would have bumped out. Now we will st still see a safety. Is she gonna take a conservative, just play it thin, or is she really gonna go around the table to create distance? Well, thin it is. Oh, I don't believe there's a kick and stick here. There's not enough uh, space between the rail and the five. No, I like the be. kick and stick. That, that, I, it looks like, the, as I look at this a little longer. Yeah, I like it. Just play, just in case, play the speed to where you kick the five to the short rail. Just mm -hmm. play that speed, and if you hit it real good, you might slide behind the eight even more. Well, she took your advice. Didn't stick it, but she left the five in the middle of the short rail. And now if Siming cuts the five behind the seven on the right side and brings the cue ball two rails behind the eight, that's a trap. But she's probably going to play the other way around, get the nine in between, which is usually easier to hit. But if I she like had the played it the other yeah, way I around, like it's around. usually if you get it, they are most of the time trapped. I actually like that shot. She's leaked out the five behind the seven, but left the five. Yeah, only thing she could have added maybe is left spin and go over the short rail trying to get yeah. behind the seven, but still she was focused on getting the, se the five as close as possible to the short rail, and she did, so. Now same thing, is she gonna catch the left side and bring the five behind the eight and bring the cue ball back down? Either, yeah, I'm trying to get the cue ball. No, she did play she the straight back. It. Oh, maybe the other corner. Uh, that's no, gonna it's end straightened up, in, up. Yep. in the middle of the rail there. Well, definitely did not sell out the farm. Another safety here? Yep. Hit it thin on the left side, get it up to the head rail and try to get the cue ball down to the bottom rail. Yeah, ju probably just the five on the right short rail and the cue on the left, hopefully trying to get the nine in between. Just soft and spin the cue ball like that. Behind the nine ball with did the cue ball. The full yes, she, she did. She played it great. Great speed. Couldn't have played that better. Yeah. Got full cover. And Oh, maybe the jump cue out. Whoa. Well, she is thinking, well, if I make one good jump, I'm out. Which I do understand. But she is kicking two rails.
Jasmine Ocean oh. cut in a ball like that. I think it's one, one of the highlight reels. Kicked it just like that and cut it right in the hole. Well, Weiwei has earned herself a shot this rack. Still needs to draw the cue ball into the a long rail and out, center of the table minimum to get to the seven. Nice shot. And these three balls to pull within one. Let's see how she's going to get to the eight, two rails. Is she going three rails around? Just going to hold she it right there and take it, okay. the distance. Longer gonna, shot on the eight. Yeah. She's okay with the distance. I think I'd rather be. I think she's better off with the longer distance than the bigger angle. Oh, she's missed it. Well, no words. Just sadness, no shootout. Well, then still, Wei Wei was quite some wrecks away from a shootout, but mm -hmm. I was definitely expecting her to make that. <coughs> so it's Chen Siming who advances to the next round. She beats Wei Wei in two, two straight sets. And on she goes to uh, one more round for Siming to qualify for the final 16. And Weiwei will still